So y'all, I redid my desk area with some of the stuff that I got from Ross. And my desk area is looking lit. Like y'all, look at that. Look at that. I gotta clean everything around it, but on top do. On top is a top notch, I. Right? So yeah, that's the desk, what it's looking like. And I am very impressed and happy with her. And this is a Hayworth desk, just so you guys wanted to know. Um, this item right here, the Coco Chanel, yeah. Um, MacBook Pro, old school Mac computer. It's an old school. All right, <laughs> forever move the Coco Chanel thing. The thing from Ross that says stuff. And I forgot where this came from. I can't remember. I'll think about it. No. And it's on this pedestal right here. So that's the candle. Even burn. I love the burn. I'm just putting everything away. Sorry if it's a little bit shaky. I just put y'all on the fan. I'm putting all my Barbie stuff away. Um, if y'all missed the Barbie haul, go check it out. But. I wanted to get everything folded and put away. I should have did it yesterday, but I didn't um, because it was 4th of July. Hold on, this is my mom. Oh, these are cute. All right, y'all. So we're gonna go to DD's discount. Like, you see that? Yeah, you see that? You see that? Okay. Got some home stuff earlier today, but I ain't never been in the DD's discount. So I figured before I hit the house, and y'all, that's my nose ring. It ain't a booger. Y'all be quick. Be like, hey, that booger. It's a nose ring. But anyway, but let's get into the DD's discount and see what's discounting, discounting, discounting like. And we'll talk some more when I get out. That's one. cute. <laughs> Do you want that one? I can take all these. Oh, take those off? What do I do? Okay. So that's the one you want? We're giving away a thousand dollars. You're what? They're giving away a thousand dollars. All right, so you got that one and that one. Grace, what you didn't pick say? a lunchbox. It says, yeah, we saw the star in a star shape. Jeez, look at that bag. All right, y'all. So I just got off work. Um, I set up my new stand. Yeah, yeah. So this is my new stand. Actually, it's kind of like my old old stand, like because the last one, like I told you, Grace broke, but it wasn't that good anyway. So kind of was a blessing in disguise. But I went ahead and got the stand I had before, which is from Toraz. I think that's how you say it. So it's a car phone mount from Toraz cell phone holder that's what it say and i love this one i got this one a couple years ago so i think this is the one nature b or somebody was using or something and i was like okay i'll order it so i ordered it and i loved it and then i went to get another one because it broke or something and i didn't go back to like my previous purchases and i just went back online i was like oh this is similar and got a different brand and it ain't the same so yeah i went and got another one of these of Amazon, I got me an octopus style tripod, tripod, tripod stand. It looks just like that because when I'm in stores now, I'm gonna be holding up my phone with my tripod so it looks good. And if somebody wanna say something, say something, say it then. Bring it to me, bring it to me. So <laughs> I got that, and this is everything that it comes with right there. And this is my nail. I'm about to get my nails taken off today or tomorrow, one of the two. But it looks just like that. So I picked that up and I had to get a new mic and the mic should be here sometime today and I cannot wait but I'm about to go ahead and pick up the little kids medicine <sighs> finally like they weren't able to order it for a minute and I was so hot because I'm like my kids need that medicine y'all don't know so I just dropped Justin off at the gym and I wanted to take a moment to speak with y'all I got a comment and I really have been trying to get away from talking about this topic but you know it is what it is and it's my real life um the main thing the comment was about was grace okay 
if y'all didn't know, which I think a lot of people, if you've been following me a long time, you know, um, let me fix this up some, that Grace has a hormone issue and she sees a specialist for her hormone issue, right? So she sees a specialist for her hormone issue. And even though she has a hormone issue, Grace doesn't eat right. She does not eat right. None of these kids eat right. You know, Christian is autistic. And because he's autistic, it's only certain foods he can eat. And of course, I don't know how he's surviving at this point, but he survives off quesadillas, chicken nuggets, some french fries, and croissants. Okay? Survival pack for Christian. Because that's the only things that he can eat. Because when you're autistic, texture is a big thing. And Christian actually sees a specialist as well. But his is for his autism. It's an in-home specialist that comes to our home. Um, to help me with Christian like these are the things y'all don't see on camera because I don't put everything on camera And plus, you know, I don't want you know to be like can I film you girl? Like I don't want to do that But Christian see a specialist twice a week for his autism One of the things we're trying to work on is getting him to like different foods You know what I mean? Because he is so small in the amount of foods that he will eat Like it's crazy. He'll eat some cupcakes, but I'm like Christian, that's not healthy, and you know, but it's like, well, Christian only had a croissant today because Christian will not eat anything else. And he'll eat veggie straws, but he won't eat vegetables. So we're working with the specialist with that realm. But what does that mean for Grace? It means for Grace that she's eating the same things that Christian's eating. And what Christian's eating is actually bad for Grace's hormone problem. Like what y'all don't see on camera is the, the problems with Grace's hormones, how off balance she is. Like when I mean off balance, like it'll be quiet in the house and she'll just start screaming, yelling, going off, have these huge, huge and I mean huge, meltdowns that last anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and it's like what is going on you know what i mean and it's because of her hormone problem there's a lot of things about my life i don't want to i i just don't let y'all in on because it's hard i'm not gonna lie managing kids that have all these issues it's not easy it's not easy at all i could try to make it easy as possible and make it look easy but no these kids see specialists and everything else but as far as grace's weight I've really had conversations with Grace as she continues to get older, as the issue progresses. And, I, and I'm telling Grace, you know, Grace has seen me lost weight. Grace has seen Justin lose a lot of weight. She's seen it. And, and we talk to Grace. You know, we don't belittle her. We, we try. I try so hard not to belittle Grace um, when it comes to her weight at all. I don't. Because I know the struggle. I know what it's like to just want to eat. Just eat for no reason you're not even hungry you're just eating because it's there and you love food and, and she has the same issue i had only thing is i had it under control eventually with the help of a surgery of course a child cannot get surgery so as an adult there's things that i must do and i've been very lax on what i must do because i've been given a pass because of what christian's going through because as y'all know christian's autism and all this this is all within the past two years that i'm learning about all this and i'm just trying to appease to christian that grace is just getting whatever's there you know what i mean and that's not smart especially in the food department at all okay um and that's something I'm planning on working on. And you're going to see my journey as I work to be a better mom and make better decisions and learn to be a strong mom. Because I honestly, and I'm about to cry, I'm a weak mom. I really am. I give in to everything. Every single one of my kids were born with an issue. Okay. When, when Justin was born, the umbilical cord was around his neck. So his heart rate kept dropping and I had to have an emergency C-section with him. Um, when Grace was born, she was born five weeks early, was in the NICU because she had a heart problem. Christian was born early, not to an issue of his own, but to me. Um, and then he ended up at two weeks, he was in the PICU because he had RSV. So each one of my kids has always had a problem where I felt I had to baby them. Okay, baby them hand and foot. And I've babied these kids from the moment they came out of me i have babied every single one of them and it's at a point where they're babied so bad that it's become hard on me as a mom 
to say no and when I say no I feel bad and they make me feel bad and it becomes into these just matches of who's gonna have control and 90% of the time they win and I lose and it makes me feel like I felt them especially grace I really feel I have felt grace even though we're working with nutritionists and we're doing what we need to do I'm not doing everything I need to do I wanted Grace to go to camp. I was big on Grace, go to summer camp so you're not just chilling around the house all, all summer. I want you to be in camp because I know they will keep them active and moving and doing all this stuff. And Grace said, no, mom, I don't want to go to camp. And I just said, okay, you don't have to go. You know, so I plan on, and y'all are going to see it because it's going to be a journey I'm bringing is me getting my kids help together. I help Justin. Justin had the willpower though and he did it because he's older and he understands it's harder with little kids because they don't understand they don't understand why they need they understand why they need to do it Grace is really smart she wants to be a doctor okay this girl wants to be a doctor she knows all the parts of the body everything she wants to be a doctor she's very smart she understands it's just in her mind it's about getting her off this I need to eat because it's something I just want to do so you're going to see as the next 30 days go until the kids go back to school how I just learned to be a tougher parent and not a pushover you're going to see a transformation and I don't know if I want to put it I think after the 30 days is complete is when y'all will see the kids again when the 30 days is complete no I don't want to keep y'all from the kiddos like for what but y'all see as the 30 days go and i'm going to spend the next 30 days till school starts because no school is is school 30 days over 30 days away but it takes 21 days to make a habit so that's what i'm doing starting today is i'm getting that habit into place so as they go back to school it's not nothing new it's not something that just came you know it's something that's already instilled Oh, y'all look at the lighting. It is terrible. I just got out the gym this morning to do my workout. I'm about to hit the grocery store really quick and get um, the items for the week. I already sat down with the kids. Y'all are going to get their confessional, I guess, at, on Saturday of how the first week went. Um, but uh, I told them there's no more chips to be in the house. We're not buying cupcakes. We're not buying anything like that. So I asked for a list of fruits and vegetables that they're willing to eat so we'll see how this goes i think the only kid i'm gonna have trouble with is christian because of his autism but hey it is what it is and i'll let y'all know how week one goes When you click the digital coupon, these go down to 59 cents. These are my favorite and it's on sale two for three dollars. Y'all, I end up spending $56 and got all this stuff. Like, Randall's has good deals, but you have to know when to go in and get them. Now we're at the HEB to see where I can get the good deals on my meats and things. So let's go ahead and see what they got. Get money get you in HD. Not too bad. Oh, I you better bring Tina with you, man. You better bring me, Tina I'm with me. you, man. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I'm choosing you tonight. That freak ass song y'all hear. Okay, hey. guys. So I'm at the gym to go to the gym. I'm like, okay, I'll come five o'clock in the morning. Everybody's pulling up. 
five o'clock in the morning to get in when they open at five. Like it's 4.59. They started pulling up at 4.50. This is nuts, yo. People take this stuff serious for real, for real. God dang. All right, y'all, it is Wednesday. I don't even know what day I left y'all at. Did I do something yesterday? I think I did, I can't remember. But I'm at this Mexican restaurant because I'm gonna have lunch with Liz before she starts a new job. She left our job and she's going to work for the state. Yes, because she just wanted a break from what we do. So, you know, she went to go work for the state. So we're about to go have lunch and I'll probably show y'all my food. She don't do a lot of the, she don't like being in camera and stuff like that. So at least y'all get to see the food. So let's go. And this is just what I'm wearing today. So this is the outfit of the day. It's pretty cute. I have to say something. So. Okay, so Damn, like that's like friend, no friend for Ah, he gonna be like, nah, you took that nigga. <laughs> Alright, bag it up. I'm cool. I'm telling y'all now when this song with me and drew santana drops it's gonna be your perfect workout song so definitely get ready to be in the gym and getting it down to shake that is gonna be coming out fully soon. i actually had the chance to have a texas legend rate my music <laughs> yeah there you go she hard as fuck yeah she's super all, fucking all, her songs, all her songs is jam she's super motherfucking tough man all right, hopefully you guys can see me good. I'm on my way to Waco because it is an album release party for It's I-E-T-C, get it right, A-B. I'm actually hosting it and I'm going to be performing. So I am super excited about the event. And y'all see my outfit in a minute. Can you see it? Um, you can't really see it. It don't look good sitting down. You gotta stand up. Like, I hate when I'm in a car because the way that some cars will sit you right, you know? But my car don't sit you right. Like, it's weird. Like, and because it's a sports car. I used to be in the streets, so I can't. 